After buying Twitter for $44 billion, Musk's time as CEO has been a whirlwind. Shares of Musk's other major company, Tesla, have plummeted more than 30% since he took over Twitter. As is often the case, his next move is unclear. I go as far to say that he's demonstrating some erratic behavior. Go fuck yourself. Is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. Elon Musk's cooperation and or relationships with other countries is worthy of being looked at. The Biden administration has just announced its second investigation into Elon Musk in less than a week. Both the Tesla and SpaceX, there's a product roadmap that they're on and that whether Elon is in the building or not is not going to impact the plan that they have. People said he'd never get the rocket in space. He did that. People said the roadster would never get delivered. He did that. People said he'd never get 100 of them done. He's got 200 done. As an entrepreneur, you can't listen to the noise. And you certainly can't listen to losers who have never accomplished anything with their life who are obsessing about you. Please. We're out there among the stars, and we're a multi-planet species across many planets and many star systems. This is a great future, and that's what we should strive for. To our customer support at your service. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly every VC I speak with, every CEO, is looking to Elon's behavior and saying that's a model for how you can challenge your team to achieve the impossible in an impossibly difficult environment. And you can see those grid fins on your left-hand screen rotating and turning to guide the booster, and there's that landing bird. He's just a visionary like I've never seen. How on earth would you bet against him? Elon seems to be on track to be not only the world's richest man, but the world's first trillionaire. Elon basically has had, over the last 10 or 15 years, an incredible amount of challenges that he's overcome. Probably had to deal with stuff that most of us would have broken under. And he just fought through it. And the guy just basically bended all the haters until he crushed their souls. And I just think that that's incredible.